Okay, this is part two, uh, V450 D01, 2702 receiver gyro setup for the uh, 2801 Pro Radio. First thing you want to do is get the uh, radio set up with the new model, uh, a clean model. Go ahead and name it 450 D01. Um, You go into the stick, make sure you're in mode 2, compatibility uh, mode 2801, ID code could be random uh, or you can set the code. I prefer to set the code because it makes the binding uh, really fast and um, you could do either way. Input that's all uh, standard stuff just leave it alone squash make sure it's three servos 120 degrees step you don't have to touch that display you don't have to touch that alarm uh, keep your flights of five minutes you know in the beginning especially with uh, a lot of guys talking about their ESC's burning up in the summer heat Five minutes is, is perfect, you know. Um, it's not too much, it's not too little, and it's if you're especially if you're flying stock uh, equipment, you know, you want to give it a break in these hot summer days. So I set my timer for five minutes. Um, that's just one thing you guys could do, think about. Alright, the other thing is all trim centered, and that includes the throttle trim. Um, some guys like to take the throttle trim all the way down. It's normally something you would do. I found that for the 2702V, it's not necessarily something you want to do, and I'll t and I'll show you why. If you go into the throttle curves, you got a zero from a hundred linear curve here. If you take the throttle trim down. As you see now, I took it down. It's down at the bottom. And you see what happens to the throttle curve. It kind of lopes down at the end there. And it goes into the negative. And that's going to mess around with the throttle hold settings. And um, it could be one of the reasons why you go into throttle hold and the helicopter doesn't stop. But I'd like to keep a nice linear throttle curve uh, when doing this setup. So normally with the 2702V it's important that you get the radio set up right and then you enter set up with the radio basically set up the way you're going to fly the helicopter. So those are the few things that you got to change when you, you start a new model you want to make sure the stick is uh, in mode 2 and that the ID code is either random or a set code. Your swash has to be 3 servo 120 degrees. And you could, you know, it's an optional to set up the alarm. Alright, all trim centered. Now that includes the, um, the hover. There's a hover T and a hover P up here. These buttons, you want to keep those centered also, these trims. So basically, you've got a neutral radio. And um, we'll go into specifics now. Reverse, I'm running the DS4 10Ms. You're uh, setup may be different depending on if you have the stock servos, if you have high techs, if you got the aligns, um, whatever you got in there. So you, if you do have the DS410Ms, this will work for you, uh, along with the right settings on the RX. Sub trims all zeros. You don't want no sub trims. Travel adjust. Um, everything is basically a hundred. 
I have my throttle high and low settings um, endpoints a little uh, tweaked a little higher and that's because I'm running the castle creations and I have to um, configure my endpoints for the ESC for governor mode but suffice to say if you're running a stock setup you could just use a hundred percent rudder you can change this to 120 percent on each side if you want to get into some uh, faster pyros you can definitely do the 120s for the purposes of this video and the basic setup I'm going to keep it at a hundred um, but if you do want a faster pyro with the V450 that's something you can do okay so everything else flat a hundred and that's um, that's pretty much it far as travel just now for swatch the swatch mix you want everything at 70 the manual uh, recommends 80 there's some other setup papers that recommend 70 and I kind of uh, go along with the 70 because to be honest between 70 and 80 there's really no difference um, the most you're going to get is about 9 degrees 8, eight between 7 and 8 degrees in cyclic on elevator and aileron and about 11 to 12 degrees positive and negative pitch um, you figure 32 degrees total um, collective cyclic pitch 70 is good enough if you want to go 80 that's fine too I use 70 uh, that's what works for me. Gyro hold. Now, as far as the, um, the gyro, you can use 80%, you can use 72%. Um, 80 is kind of high. It does put a lot more stress on the tail servo, so I choose 75 right in the middle. At some point, I'll probably lower this to uh, 72 and live with that. So, you know, like I said, you can use 80, it's, it's up to you. Anywhere between 70 and 80. Uh, the 20 is for rate mode, and that's good for when you're setting up the helicopter. You can just hit the AUX2 button, and it'll put your tail in rate mode, and you won't stress the servo out. Uh, it'll keep it centered. It's, you know, so it's a good thing for uh, using setup and things like that. And you can flip that in and out of rate mode. Um, wait, throttle hold. Okay, I have mine at negative 5%. You might wind up with uh, negative 10, uh, depending on if you keep your throttle trim at neutral or if you keep it uh, or if you lower it or not. If I lower my throttle trim, that number will probably go higher. So, dual rate and expo. Okay, so for elevator, I got 100% rates. I've got 45% expo. It's kind of high, but that's like I said, this is a good general setup to start out with, and then you can feel your way through and lower it at some point. Uh, the rudder, full, you know, 100% rate and 35%. Now, ST1, 2, and 3, they come. It'll, when you start a new model, it'll come out inhibited. Um, let me go back to that. You want to activate them. And what this does is, when you click into ST1, right now I'm going to flip the ST1 switch, and it, what it does is it carries over my um, position zero. Uh, rates into position one rates and position two. So otherwise, if you have those disabled, and I go into my ST1, you can hear the button clicking, and there's nothing happening. So basically, if you don't um, and activate those, you're only going to be setting up your um, dual rates normal mode 
and you want to have if you want the dual rates in ST1 and ST2 and throttle hold you want that uh, you want those activated and that's a one of those features that maybe could trip you up and you know you don't realize you're flipping the ST1 and all of a sudden you got this super sensitive helicopter that was real um, mild in normal mode so be sure that you got that set right okay throttle curve is linear we went through that it's a nice zero to a hundred and there's nothing no funny business with that it's not below like if I had the throttle trim all the way down it would be at negative fifteen nice um, linear throttle curve uh, for ST1, 90, 90, 90, 90, all the way across, ST2, 100 across, and that's basically it with that. Pitch curve, you go from, uh, you go into normal mode, you can start out at 50, um, 58, 68, 78, actually these are wrong. Let me set the right ones for normal. Um, for normal, you're going to start out with 36. Again, you can tailor these to your specific needs. I mean, this is a little aggressive for normal mode for a beginner. If you're a beginner, start off with 50, 50, and 50. You could actually make those first three numbers 50, 75, and 100. Let me get these right. Okay. So normal is 36, 41. 50, 75, and 100. And this is an aggressive normal mode. Uh, make sure to hit enter, otherwise it won't save. So you go 36, 41, 50, 75, 100. But like I said, you can make this 50 on low, 50 on one, 50, and then bring it up, you know, gradually. Um, Another way to do it is 50, 58, 68, 78, 100. I find that that's a really good curve um, for just starting out. So, you know, normal mode, you want to be able to fly the helicopter. If you're just starting out, this is a little aggressive, so you need to know that. ST1 is uh, a 0 to 100 flat linear curve. Nothing knew about that. ST2, same thing. And hold. Uh, this is the 0, 50, 50, 50, 100 setup so that when you're doing setup you can get that uh, half stick and it doesn't have to be exactly at that line. Um, that's pretty much it for that. Go into the monitor. Um, a good way to check your half stick is to make sure all your buttons line up at half stick. And let's see if I can get a good focus on this. So use the monitor to make sure you get equal movements, things like that. And uh, that's it. It's good to take some time out to get the radio set up uh, properly and um, just know what you're doing with it. Alright, so that's uh, part 2A. I'll be back with um, getting into the 2702V and starting that setup. See you soon.